this is gonna be a January monthly reading, all right? So keep in mind it's a general reading, so not all messages is going to resonate with you. All right, so we're stepping into the new year. I would like to see the energy that you guys are going to be presenting. For the Oracle deck, we're gonna be using the Soul Journey Oracle deck, and then for the Tarot deck, we're gonna be using the Monday Tarot deck, okay? So, all right, so we're gonna pull an Oracle for your overall energy, then we're gonna pull some Tarot cards to see just the general energy, then we're gonna pull some more Oracle cards in so we have advice. All right, so let's see. We have courage as your overall energy. Some of you guys are dealing with Scorpio or a Leo. We have, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence, okay? And then we also have indecision. I use my indu my intuition in all aspects of life. So cool, all right? All right. I feel like you guys could have been dealing with people that left things up in the air. One second there's all communication, one second there's not. All right, I feel that you guys are coming to a conclusion of where you want to be. I feel like even though people are indecisive about you, I feel like you're understanding that just because they don't know where the feelings are doesn't mean I don't. I feel like you guys are taking the courage to step up to people and put people in their place and let them know how you feel when things like this happen towards you. But as well, I see you guys gaining the courage to move away from situations that no longer serve you either when your mouth is running dry and it feels like you're saying the same thing over and over again. All right, so let's see. Aquarius, what's happening for Aquarius? Can I get a general spread for Aquarius? The energy is feeling, I don't want to say heavy, but it's gaining momentum. Let's see. We have the lovers in reverse. Some of you guys are dealing with a Gemini. I got Sagittarius with a temperance card upright. We have the ace of pentacles in reverse. All right, so it's real Capricorn energy. We also have the ten of swords in reverse, giving me Gemini energy again, Geminian energy, okay? Some of you guys are connecting with a Gemini. All right, we have the three of pentacles in reverse giving capricorn under that with the temperance clarifying the temperance card we have the five of wands in reverse leo energy all right okay we have the justice card in reverse clarifying the ace of pentacles in reverse libra energy can we can i get one more for the ten of swords in reverse we have the death card in reverse all right cool seven of cups in reverse double Scorpio energy. Interesting, 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 interesting. Three of Pentacles in reverse, lovers in reverse. So, what's interesting about this is the lovers card, yes, upright talks about soulmate energy, twin flame energy, sexual, sensual energy, talks about soulmates, okay? But when it's in reverse, it talks about knowing who that is. Seven of Cups in reverse, your overall energy, which is knowing which direction you want to go in, which is your overall energy. Hangman in reverse is no longer keeping yourself stuck, stuck and stagnant. But Lover's card also talks about making a decision between two people, and when it's upright, it's having a decision made. With Three of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like you are not going to be put in the side of any third parties. I feel like courage and indecision. I feel like you're not letting people treat you like an option anymore. I feel like you're understanding the worth and value that you bring to the table, and I feel like you you will not start January 2022 20, inside of this energy with the three of pentacles of reverse and lovers in reverse it's like you're in this energy of okay if people can't see the my worth or they can't find the difference between me and this person that's fine but I will not stand for it if I want to reverse and the temperance in reverse you're you're no longer fighting for a spot inside of somebody's life we had a temperance card I feel like people are going to want to make it work with you when they see you choose yourself first I feel like that's what everyone or I want to say everyone because that's what your spirit guides, the people around you was waiting on. It's just you choosing your for yourself first, which makes people choose you first. But when you put yourself last, that's when people put you last. We have the Justice card in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yep, a delayed new beginning, but it was up to you to make the decision. With the lovers in reverse, I feel like you finally made that decision. I feel like you weren't waiting to be picked, and I feel like you're picking who you want now. I feel like it was all the energy that you were in. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, so there's something that wanted to come towards you, but it couldn't come towards you unless something was balanced out. And surprisingly, we have the Temperance car here and it's upright which is something being balanced out knowing that you are worth fighting for and you knowing that you are worth giving energy to some of you guys are dealing with a work situation where someone is you're up and running i feel like if you and someone is up and running for a job or being chosen i feel like you will be the one that's being chosen but i feel like you are learning how to manifest situations to work out in your favor and all that is happening is with you putting yourself first we have the ten of swords in reverse and the death card in reverse so we're starting out January of 2022 with unfinished business. There's unfinished business between you and someone. Could be a Scorpio or a Gemini. I have double Scorpio, I have double Gemini, okay? 
yeah but with the seven of cups in reverse as your overall energy i feel like you guys are no longer waiting for someone to pick you to choose where they want to be i feel like you guys are picking first i feel like you guys are no longer worried about losing someone who isn't worried about losing you all right who couldn't see your words in the beginning you're no longer fighting yeah high priestess your overall energy was indecision i use my intuition in all aspects of my life who rules intuition we have the high priestess so i feel like you guys are using your intuition on on situations we have the seven of pentacles at the bottom of the deck where you should invest and where you should not invest okay we have the page of wands in reverse we have the ace of swords in reverse and we have the hierophant whoa we have the high priestess and the hierophant at the bottom um on separate angles so these people, <laughs> they're very intuitive. I view one of them as psychic, but I know you can tell which one that is. But the High Priestess and the Hierophant, they are also a secret couple. I feel like you're going to be coming into union with someone, and I feel like it's someone that you already know. I feel like it's someone that you didn't take really seriously. I feel like also you could have been waiting for this person. I feel like also, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, clarifying the Ace of Swords in reverse. You have two Aces in reverse. So I feel like you were looking out for something that you already have. You were looking out for clarity, wanting your angels to give you clarity about a situation that you already want. For example, you were like, angels, give me a sign, make this. If this price is not for me, put it on my TikTok for you page. And they'll have multiple um, pages like, this is not it, this is not it, this is not it. And... It was like with well, the Queen of Swords and Verse, it's like you were getting what you the energy you wanted, but you didn't want it to be that energy. I feel like now, I feel like you're going to be looking at situations for what it actually is. With the Page of Wands and Reverse, yeah. I feel like you're not long, you're no longer going to give people the shadow of a doubt that you're going to be there forever. With the Ace of Swords and Verse and the Page of Wands and Verse, also, when people aren't treating you fairly and you, you leave their life, I don't feel like you're giving them an explanation. I feel like you feel like they should know what they're doing and the reason why you're leaving them, Aquarius. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. Could we done with a fellow Aquarius? We have the Tower in reverse. Wow. And we have the Three of Wands, guys. Bottom of the deck is the Seven of Pentacles. Someone that you've dealt with in the past or is currently around you, you're going to be dealing with them in the future. You're going to be taking your last card as they want. You're going to be taking this person with you in the future. This is someone that you already know. Tower card, death card, in reverse, and the ten of swords in reverse. All these cards in reverse, which is a foundation being brought back up from the past. Something that was already lived. Six of swords is not moving away from something or not moving on from something. I feel like you guys are going to be making it work with somebody. And remember in the beginning, I was like, someone was waiting on you just to get inside this energy. That's what they're waiting on. And the higher final talks about building a relationship. Yeah, I feel like this person... This person couldn't build with you if you didn't even know your words. And I feel like you're stepping into it. You're getting the courage. And I feel like now this person is wanting to build with you. Someone that you've been waiting to build with you is going to be wanting to build with you. Because you're stepping up for yourself. You're standing out. And you're choosing your first, yourself first. So let's get some advice and some oracle for Aquarius. Let's get some advice and oracle for Aquarius, okay? Heavy Scorpio energy. We have growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. Yes. Yes. There's going to be a lot in growing. I feel like, no. I feel like 2021 has taught you growth. It, it made you grow. I feel like this, this is going to be basically the fruits of your labor. 2021 was planting the fruits and 2022 is going to be getting the fruits off of it. I just seen abundance. I just seen abundance okay what does Aquarius need to know okay wow we got abundance but I also have a lot of more cards okay we have happiness wow and then we have health okay cool we have I will honor my physical vessel and enshrine my soul so some of you guys could be going to the gym or it'll be good if you start 2021 with something healthy healthy eating healthy judgment <laughs> judgment healthy judgment healthy discernment okay allowing knowing who would allow in your life we have also have abundance I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality and we also have happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Yeah. So with that being said, with abundance and happiness, yeah, I feel like the more I feel like you guys are only focused on what is working in your life. So when you focus on the good things in your life, you manifest more good things. When you focus on negative things, you manifest more negative things. There's gonna be a lot of growth that happens to you. I feel like you guys are only yeah, growth. 
Overall energy, bottom of the deck, last card is the Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So the bottom of the deck, Seven of Pentacles, speaks on growth, waiting for your fruits to come in. Building or grounding the energy and then watching it grow. And you got growth. And I feel like it's going to bring a lot of happiness. I feel like it's something that you've been wanting for a while. And then the heart of the reading is abundance. So there's going to be a lot of abundance coming towards you for 2022. So it's going to be up to you on what you do with this. So Aquarius, this is what I have for your overall energy for January of 2022. Alright, everything is going to be down in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, it's going to be down in the description box below. Social media is down in the description box below. I hope you guys have a wonderful January of 2022.